We're back with more Tapped Out with Brendan Tobin and Sean Levine on the BetQL Network. Welcome back into Tapped Out here on the BetQL Network. Hey, we've got some boxing tonight, baby. We not only have a little UFC, but a main event coming up on ESPN Top Rank. Xander Zayas, who uh, I've been watching grow up basically down here in South Florida since he was 16 years old and became a pro. He is uh, fighting tonight in his first main event on ESPN. Heavy odds tonight for him. He's like minus 1,500. So not great against uh, Patrick Teixeira, proven guy, former champion. I am going to roll with Xander tonight. I'm going to go with him by knockout, which you can get at a much more palatable minus 150. He wins this night. He's probably a fight or two fights away from fighting for the belt. But I spoke to him in his training camp. Very, very hungry. I think he does go and get the knockout tonight. Even though people are saying to share a very, very durable, I think this is one where he can go and get the finish. Here's our conversation with Xander Zayas in the middle of the camp. The X-Man, Xander Zayas, joining us here. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate the time. Uh, thank you for, for coming here. I think, well, how many times have you been here already? This is my Four first time at the new place. First time in the new place, but you've been coming to the gym. I went, I went to you guys uh, yeah. a couple times, so... No, excited uh, to have you here. I was excited. Thank you for having me, man. Uh, this is uh, an exciting day. You got, how many sparrings do you have left? It was the first wow. time I've ever gotten to see you spar yeah, live. Yeah, so after today, we have three left. Um, we fly out to New York actually Friday, so we'll do one here, the last two in New York. First time flying um, to fight week or fight um, city two weeks out, so I'm excited for that. This has uh, got to be very exciting for you. Your first main event, Yes. ESPN, June 8th. Everybody tune in, South Florida. Uh, Puerto Rican week. You got the Puerto Rican parade that week. What does this mean to you? Man, it means the world. I mean, at 21 years old, I, I dreamed of this. I, I, I dream of, a, of a being the, the main event at the Mecca of Boxing in the Puerto Rican parade, but not at 21. No, so early in my career. So I'm excited. Um, I'm happy. And I'm just, I'm just blessed to be in this position. I'm fighting a great fighter. I mean, Patrick Teixeira, former world champion, somebody that has a lot of experience. And I'm excited to show the world that Puerto Rico is going to have a, a a new world champion at 154 pounds. Yeah, what are you most like excited to show, man? Because, you know, obviously every time you go out there, there's very high expectations. Sure. So, like, is it, is it almost tough that you got to back yourself off? Because, like, I imagine you want to go, like, you want to put on a killer show. Yeah, definitely. Um, this, I mean, I just want to show everything. I just want to show that I've gotten better. My defense, my offense, my angles, um, my counterattacks, um, the way I, I, I box, the way I use the ring. Um, my IQ, the concentration, I think everything, I want to work on everything, I want to showcase everything, um, but I'm, I'm ready to go. Uh, I think, you know, you saw today that I'm ready. I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm focused. The, the, the preparation is done. The preparation is done. Now it's just the final touches, you know, final movement, just to stay active and be ready for June 8th. How do you feel like, uh, you know, knowing you as long as I have, like you've really hit all these peaks and <laughs> yes. these check marks. Like, yes. Does this feel like a big one, like just the idea of like being the center of the show? Because obviously, yeah, I get it. You want to be <laughs> perform well, but that is like you got to be a showman For too. Sure. And everyone's going to be there. Like, I feel you. like I feel like yes, this is a new um, a new peak that I've just hit. Um, you can only you can only want get one one first main event. This is it. I feel like there's three things in the boxing world that I was looking forward to do. That was or four things: signing. I already did that. Pro debut. I already did that. Now my first main event, I'm going to do it June 8th, and then the first world title. You can only do, do those four things once in boxing, and I'm excited to do it for the first time June 8th. You do what you're expected to do uh, against Patrick. We'll get to him in just a second, but like, do you, do you have a, a person in mind like, that you'd like to take the title from? Is there somebody at 154? Is it going to be at 154? Like, yeah. What, what, like, what, do, you, what do you see? <laughs> well, obviously, after Patrick, um, I, want to, I want to fight um, two more times. Hopefully, one of those fights being an um, eliminator for the WBO. Um, there's two guys in front of me, um, Erickson Lubin or um, Josh Kelly. Those two names, I think those are two fights that we can make happen, the company can make happen, and we can make it happen maybe for December. Um, yeah, Lubin's know. been interested. In yeah, you know, Heisman, he's... Heisman night, New York City. Or even here, um, obviously, he's from Orlando. I'm from South Florida, obviously, Puerto Rico. We could do it in Kissimmee where there's a lot of his fan base, a lot of my fan base, and we could get it going. Uh, but that's a really entertaining fight with the two of you. I think that would be a, a hell of a matchup. We'll get to your – I got to ask you this, man. Look, you're going up to New York. Um, where are your loyalties right now with Panthers and Rangers? Because I know when you're there at MSG, they're going to be giving you the jersey. 
<laughs> but you are a Panthers fan. I've seen you in I the am. Panthers gear. I am, I am. So when you're up there for Panthers, Rangers, if they offer you the jersey, you be polite, you put it to the side, will you still rock the <laughs> Panthers sweater in New York? Listen, if they'll, they'll give me the jersey, I'll take it. And if they invite me to a game, I won't put no jerseys because I can't. I won't be able to put the, the, the Panthers JC go, um, the Panthers jersey going into um, the MSG. We'll just <laughs> sneak a we'll sneak a rubber rat in you, and then afterwards you I'll throw the rat. I just throw, throw the rat. Be like, what was that? Oh, nothing. That wasn't that wasn't anything. But uh, that's gotta be that's gonna be an unbelievably cool thing because I know that being a South Florida kid, but seeing the the Puerto Rican fan base in New York sure. is pretty crazy. Yes, like yes. that's gotta be. I can't imagine the gooses that you must feel when you have that kind of fan base behind you. Man, um, it, it's amazing. And again, just doing it at, at such a young age. Um, again, I, I started so early in my career that we've built this from the ground up. Now, just being in this position, seeing the love that I've been receiving from South Florida, from New York, from Puerto Rico, obviously, from all around the United States and the world. It's crazy. It's unbelievable to, to think about. It's unbelievable to just try to, to sit down and look back at it because... It's, it's something that I, that I never thought it was going to happen so soon. Have you, uh, like, are, are there, th- like, do you allow yourself to soak it in at all? Or do you, is it hard because you got to, like, you got to handle the task at hand? Like, do you allow yourself to enjoy it at all when you go to the city and, and take it all I, in and see the posters and all that? Or do you, are you a guy who's, like, everybody's like, oh, he's laser focused. He's not going to well, enjoy any of this. Well, I try to enjoy. I try to enjoy because I, I, feel, I feel like at the end of the day, that's the key to everything. Have fun. Enjoy your job. I enjoy what I do. I enjoy doing to the interviews. I enjoy um, going to the press conference, all of that. Um, but obviously, um, the company and, and, and my team, and I know when it's time to focus and when it's time to cut everything off and time to laser focus, that, that day will come Friday. After Friday, I went in. There's nothing else. Nobody else is going to see me. I'm going to do my interviews with, um, with ESPN, back to my room, and nobody see me till Saturday. I do appreciate when we had you on, you doing the Dame time, and you tried <laughs> your recruitment that summer. Were you disappointed that the NBA was against Miami Man. Heat? Um, I was disappointed. I was disappointed. I told you that if, if, if Dame will come here, I'll become a fan of the Heat. Um, but that didn't happen. So I'm still a Lakers fan. Okay, dude. But like, what about, what if he like, if he's not happy in Milwaukee, can we reroute? <laughs> like, is, how can I get Heat <laughs> fandom back on the table? Well, if you guys get Dame or, I don't know, then um, Sp- Mitchell. Spider? We Sp- get Spider? If you guys get um, Spider, he doesn't no. follow me. But if you guys get Spider... I could I probably become a Heat fan. I don't fan. think he has a cool thing that you could do in the ring, though. Like, I don't know if we I, could. Yeah, I don't think there's a spider thing I don't, that I, don't I could do. Like, yeah, no, no. Like, like, spider <laughs> move or anything like that. No, I don't think no, I could do that. We're still in football season, though. We got to have you hit the waddle at one point. Like, I know, yes, time, yes. I do got to hit it. Waddle I do has- I do got to hit it, but I feel like I'll hit it when they're in season, when they're playing. Yes. So it makes more sense because now they're off season. Everybody's like, nobody's going to really like no. know what, what I'm doing. And then if you, if you were to like bring a rubber rat to the ring for the Panthers, like the New York fans aren't going <laughs> to like that. Yeah, they're going to boo me. After, yeah, because the Panthers are going to eliminate the, the, the <laughs> Rangers by then. Yeah, that, that wasn't said no, that's by me. me. I'm that telling you, the Panthers are going to eliminate the Rangers. Xander didn't say that. <laughs> I said that. Cats in six. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. He's not, you guys don't even have to worry about it because the only show you're going to have at Madison Square Garden on June 8th, Rangers fans, are gonna be, is going to be Xander Zayas. Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. it because the Knicks are done and the, and the Rangers are going to be done. Yeah, so you this, have is, to go there. this is your show now. This is yes, the sir. show right here. It is here. my show. It is my show. Um, there's no questions about it. Um, I didn't say that, but June, I, yeah. <laughs> June 8th, I will put on a show on Madison Square Garden, for sure. He is your team now, because the Panthers are going to eliminate you, <laughs> just so we're clear on that, dude. <laughs> just so we're clear on that. Um, I just want to get your reaction. A couple things currently in boxing. Uh, this past week, Usyk beat uh, Tyson Fury. What was your reaction to that? Man, um, it, was, it was incredible. It was incredible. Um, I didn't have nobody winning. I never, I never picked a winner. I did say that whoever made the adjustment, um, Usyk got a second win, second half of the fight. He made the adjustment, went back to the body, went back to mixing body and head with his combinations, and he, did, he got the job done. I mean, that's, a, that's the heart of a champion, you know, being able to adjust, being able to, to execute, and he did that. Can you explain that a little bit? Because, like, it really felt like he had to adjust to a game plan in the midst of that, which makes Usyk so good. So, like, yeah. Like, w- when you're in that, and you see something, oh, man, I got to fix this in the middle of a fight. Like, what's that adjustment like? So, so uh, in the beginning rounds, if you see um, – Usyk was, was being active with his hand, with his movement, with, with his head, with his power, with his, with his punches, punches selection, going to the head, going to the body, going to the body, going to the head. Then in the middle rounds, he stopped doing that. He, saw, he, he, he went away from that, just trying to get, you know, just trying to put power punches to the head. 
Um, and um, Fury was taking advantage of it, which is outboxing him, just touching him here and there. Because that's, that's Fury's game plan. I mean, he's so long, he's so tall. He didn't want to fight in the end time. Um, and then after he got, he got hit or he got touched up in like round six, um, Usyk did. Yeah. He made the adjustment. And then he went, he, went, he went back to the body, back to the head, mixing those levels. And then he caught um, Fury in like round eight. I thought the fight was over. But again, we got to realize it's an undisputed world championship for the heavyweight division. You got to give those guys a chance. Um, I feel like it was the right call to let them fight. Um, and we had, we had our next on the show. Uh, Patrick Teixeira, Southpaw. Uh, you're getting ready, obviously, in camp. You're sparring Southpaw. Like, how is that a concern for you at all? Or do you like this matchup? Like, is I, it, I, people always say Southpaw, weird thing to take on. Brendan, I enjoy the matchup. I yeah. enjoy every matchup. I enjoy the challenge. I enjoy... Um, people saying that it's going to be a hard fight. I enjoy people saying he has more experience than me. I enjoy people saying um, I might lose. I enjoy that. I embrace it. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out there and do my job. I'm going to show the world that I can adjust, that I can be better, that I'm better than, than anybody they put in front of me. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited. There's no, there's no nerves. There's no concern. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to perform. I'm going to listen to the corner and have fun. Are you a guy, like, are you a receipt taker? Because, like, trolls are very active these days. They can get at you. I know, dude, listen, you're, you're, I never see you not have a smile on your head and enjoy yeah. what you do. But, like, I also can see the fury part of it, too. Like, the, 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 the serious, like, oh. Like, are you, is there something that will be like, oh, that's in the bank, and I'm going to carry that with me? Or is it just I, getting to your accomplishments? I try not to. I try not to um, pay attention to what the media say. Or, or what people has to say about me because everybody's going to have different opinions. Everybody's going to say, oh, he's good. No, he's bad. He's not ready. Oh, he's ready. So I, I can't pay attention to that too much. I do keep receive from people that I, that I care or people that I, that, that I think is important, mm -hmm. um, like, like boxers or something. You know, yeah. I, I keep receive for that because I know at some point we'll meet in person or we'll have to face each other in the ring, and I'll keep those receipts for sure. Xander Zayas fighting June 8th, ESPN, mother bleeping main event now. Look at this kid. Yes, He's sir. all grown yes, up sir. South Florida. <laughs> Proud of you, Xander. Thank you, Enjoy brother. this week, man. You deserve it. Thanks. And uh, we can't wait to see you do what you do. Man, thank you, South Florida. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for all the support. i see you guys June 8th, um, June 8th, ESPN. Buy your tickets if you guys could go to New York. And i see you guys over there. Yes. And that's going to be after, of course, you guys are eliminated by the Panthers. In Dude. Six. <laughs> In six. That's how it's going to go.